Welcome to You Dance 2015. My name is John Z D, and I am currently artistic director of Breaking Convention, based at Sadler's Wells Theatre, London. Um, and I'm also an artist. I'm an MC, and I do what I call lyrical theatre. I am proud to say that as an artist, I have performed in Plymouth. I was lucky enough to perform at the Theatre Royal. Um, we did Breaking Convention there twice, um, and both times were really, really excellent. And I was able to connect with a guy called Toby, who's a local b-boy in the area, um, who's doing some amazing things in Plymouth right now. I think my favorite place in Plymouth has to be the Hope. Um, just a lovely green space overlooking the ocean. Um, and we were fortunate enough to be there when it was sunny. So it was really, really lovely, I'll never forget it. If I was to give some advice to young people, I would say work hard, which is a given, but also be courageous about your choice, yeah? If you choose to dance in a particular discipline, just do it 100%. Welcome. My name is Hoffe Schechter and I'm a choreographer. So the first uh, connection that I had with uh, Plymouth was uh, Simon and Adrian from uh, Theatre Royale Plymouth um, came to see the work. They were really excited and they invited us to do production time in Plymouth, uh, which we were very excited about because they have amazing facilities. Uh, we were working in 2010 on Political Mother uh, in TR2. Um, which is this amazing studio with uh, you know, costume department and uh, it was just kind of an incredible experience. Um, so yeah, 2010 we spent uh, quite a lot of time there producing a Political Mother. I mean, what I really like about Plymouth is the presence of water everywhere. This is kind of uh, amazing. Of course, working in TR2, you're on the river, so whenever you have a break, you just go out and you have the, you know, the fresh air. I also like the sort of industrial feel of it. Um, but generally, what, what I did in Plymouth when I have uh, days off or the evening off, then it's just walking, uh, walking on the sea or on the river and just really enjoying that, uh, that aspect of it. I think the best advice I can give someone young is do something that excites you. Don't do something that you think will excite other people or to satisfy other people or what you think your work should look like or contemporary dance should look like. Contemporary dance is completely free. You can pick and choose from whatever you see around you, be it imagery, music, you know, it can be anything. As long as you enjoy it or it moves you or it means something for you, then it's fine. Just go with that. Um, and. Um, yeah, kind of follow, follow what moves you and what excites you and you'll be fine. So my name is James Walton and I'm the Artistic Director of James Walton Dance, uh, which is a contemporary dance company which is based partly in Plymouth and partly in Cornwall. Uh, and we create work that is very physical, very uh, martial arts influenced, lots of break dance and capoeira influences, uh, so it's very high energy, hard hitting stuff. Uh, so my connection to Plymouth is firstly that I grew up about 30 minutes away uh, from Plymouth so I've got a, a, you know, a lifetime connection to the city. Uh, my current connection is that my company uh, rehearsed and created the work Last Man Standing which we taught this year and last year uh, in the city um, and we've performed at the Barbican Theatre and we've also rehearsed at uh, the House. Uh, Plymouth University and at TR2. Uh, we also created uh, the opening ceremony of the Rugby League World Cup in 2013 uh, at TR2 in Plymouth. So my favourite thing about Plymouth is the National Marine Aquarium uh, where I'm going to be working with uh, two groups this coming week to create some pieces. Uh, so I, I mean I just love the setting, I love the, it being right on the sea, uh, on the marina there and I also just love the, the what happens in the building and I, the underwater element of it is exciting as well. 
My advice to any dancer would be to just enjoy the, the journey that's going on. So if you have a name, if you have an aspiration within dance, uh, that's fantastic. But just enjoying the route to that, even if you don't get to your end goal, uh, there's so many fantastic things that can happen along the way. Uh, and unexpected things sometimes can just steer you off in a completely different direction that may be even more exciting than the place that you're aiming for in the first place.